Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this series of videos, you're going to learn how to program in p5.js and I'm going to assume no experience at all so that anyone can follow these steps and learn how to program. So what you want to do is firstly go to Google and you simply want to type in p5.js. So type that into Google and what you are going to see is a website that shows up called p5 uh, p5js.org and you're going to go to this website and you can actually learn a lot about p5.js from this website which I'm going to show you. So the p5.js is a JavaScript library so you can think of it as a set of tools that you can use to create what you want a little bit easier rather than using pure JavaScript. So let's click download and you're just going to select p5.js complete because it's going to contain everything you need to create a program and then you can see this zip file that you've just downloaded so you're simply going to open up the zip file and you can see there's a folder in this in this zip file so what you want to do is right click on this folder and click copy and you're simply going to drop that in, onto your desktop so just paste that onto your desktop in Windows 10 which is what I have and in this folder you can see that there are some files in it now for some people who might not have windows at the correct setting you might see only these files without the extension so what you need to do is firstly turn on file extensions so to do that go to the view tab at the top of your windows explorer and tick the box that says file name extensions after you tick that, you should be able to see the end of each file. So .js, that's very important because that's the type of file. So what's p5.js? It is simply um, the, the library that you're going to use. So it contains all the coding for that library. But you don't need to know the contents, you just need to know that you need to import this file into your program somehow. Now p5.min.js is simply a mini version of p5.js so you can use that as well uh, instead of the complete one but the complete one is going to contain more explanations so if you want to look at how things are done properly you, you might use the complete one but we don't have to worry about that right now so let's go into the empty example. So this empty example is sort of a template that you can use for your program or your website that is basically empty but is already set up for you to start programming. So the index.html is the web page that people are going to see when they look at your programmed website so let's double click on that and you can see it's just a blank page because we have not programmed anything in there so what we're going to do is start typing in a bit of code so where do you type in the code you're actually going to edit this sketch.js file but in order to edit this file you need a good text editor for programming for editing in JavaScript and the simplest one that I'll suggest is called notepad++ so we're simply going to download this program now so just Google notepad++ and you can see that a website comes up notepad++.org and you're simply going to download this program and install it your computer so we're just going to 
wait for that to download install so let's install this program um, please select a language English next and just keep going just keep clicking next it doesn't really matter create shortcut install so now notepad plus plus is installed on your computer and you can see that there's an option to run it so let's run it now and after it runs it opens up a log file which we can simply close so we're going to use notepad plus plus to edit sketch.js which is the file that is going to contain your programming so drag this file into notepad plus plus and you can see that you have opened it up so our editing environment is basically going to be notepad plus plus on the left and we're going to have the index.html file opened up so click uh, exit from the notepad plus plus website and you can see this p5.js example we want this window on the right hand side okay so this is basically our editing environment okay we've got the code on the left and the website on the right so I'm just going to make the letters a bit bigger. You can do that by simply going control and scroll up. It'll make the letters bigger, the character size bigger. And now I'm going to explain what these two, what these four, five lines mean, six lines, seven. So what it means is firstly, the program is divided into two sections. The first section is called setup. And that is the code that is going to be executed at the start of your program. And it's only going to be executed once. So whatever instruction you put inside here instead of the green line is going to be executed once. Now this second section of your program called draw, whatever code you type in here is going to be executed continuously. So it's just going to be looping infinitely. Uh, so what, let's say you put x plus 1 here, x equals x plus 1. It's just going to keep adding 1 onto x forever. So don't, do, don't put anything here at the moment. We just want to set up our program first. So to set up your program, or let's talk about the next thing and that is where do you find the code for p5.js where do you find the list of tools that you can use and we're simply going to bring you back to the p5.js website if you go into the reference section here is a list of all the functions you can use in p5.js and let's find the function that sets up your um, sets up the window or sets up the program and it's simply called create canvas so let's search for that it's just over here under rendering called create canvas and what what this does is it sets up a canvas just like a painting for you to draw things in okay and the code for it is simply create canvas bracket two numbers inside the brackets so let's put that into our code so just type create canvas bracket now what two numbers are you going to put in here so i'm just going to put in 400 comma 400 so what does that mean these two numbers measure the width and the height of your canvas the first number is the width so i'm saying the width is 400 the height is four. 100. So what is the unit for the measurement? The unit is pixels, not centimeters, not inches, pixels. What is a pixel? A pixel is just simply a small dot on the screen. So it's basically saying 400 pixels. Now my screen is set up so that from one end to the other end is about 1920 pixels. So you can imagine how long 400 pixels is 
Okay, so it's going to create a canvas, put a semicolon at the end. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is set up the background color for the canvas. Now, if you just put one single um, number in, this number is going to measure how white the background is. So, if you want the background to be white, put 255 because that is the biggest uh, number that you can put in, 255. The smallest number is 0, which will be black. So let's try that. If you put 0, refresh. So you just put, you just press Control S to save the program. And here, just press refresh, and you can see the background is black. So if we don't want the background to be black, we want it to be white. 255 will make it white. But let's just make it a bit gray. So let's just put 200. Control S, save, refresh, and it makes it gray. Okay, so now we've set up the level. And starting next lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw things on your level, on your program. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.